way I liken it is to um, Star Trek. Everybody's seen when someone goes into the sick bay with bones and they do the little tricorder thing or do the body scan and they can see what's wrong with you. Well, we're, we're getting to that point where some of these imaging techniques are allowing surgeons and um, uh, imaging radiologists to start really understanding what's going on as a specialist with a particular organ. Profound Medical is uh, a company that has uh, essentially been founded on intellectual property licensed from Sunnybrook Hospital where two researchers did eight years worth of, of early research and, and, and um, small amount of development on the applied uses of their intellectual property to treating uh, diseases. You could have a historical approach which is a radical prostatectomy whereby you are under a general anaesthetic in an operating theatre with multiple surgeons and nurses around you. You will be cut open, you will be rearranged in the pelvic region, they will find your prostate and they will use a scalpel to cut your prostate out, sew you back up and send you on your way. We can see what's going on, we can see the organ in real time without having to cut you open in any way, shape or form. And then through some clever technology we are able to uh, treat without going in and through the uh, skin layer, that organ in your body in real time and in an outpatient setting. So the person is treated and after a very short period, we anticipate they are able to stand up and walk out. We use MRI to see the target organ in real time without having a root round in, in your abdominal area and your, your pelvic region. So it's non-invasive. And then the second part of that is using ultrasound, and, and I'm sure many people are familiar with ultrasound to image the, the child in the womb. Um, to, but there's also another approach, which is thermal ultrasound, which has been widely used to treat disease. The dirty little secret of the industry is if you look at all of the accumulated papers and analyses, there is an extremely high level of either incontinence or impotence suffered by the patient post-treatment. And we are talking, depending on the technique, in the 40 to 50% range. If you can see the target organ better and you can treat what you are trying to treat more accurately and more precisely, you have an infinitely better chance of treating the disease and leaving the man as the complete man post-treatment. What we're trying to do with our technology is, is actually give the patient and the clinician the best of both worlds. We can do the whole prostate, but our technology lends itself to being able to do focal therapy as well. We had a challenge, one singular challenge that was, was really grating on the company, which was finding uh, someone with expertise in US FDA regulatory approval. And uh, not only could we not find someone, but we couldn't afford to pay for them when we found them. And uh, Mars was facilitating a thing called an embedded executive program, where we had unfettered access to a um, FDA regulatory expert for six months. That really made a massive, massive advancement in the company's case to the FDA, uh, helped us finalize our documents, and also was a very important component of diligence for potential investors in it. So that, that was a wonderful win. We're on the vanguard of a lot of these new techniques being explored in the clinical setting with a genuine anticipation that the, the imaging modalities are now genuinely allowing people to be able to be, start treated that way. And, and I think um, as I reach my later years, 20 years from now, I think it won't be the norm, but it will certainly be a reasonable option for a reasonable number of diseases. <laughs>